This planet is as light as that piece of fluff stuck to your sweater. In the scientific world, it's called WASP 193b, but let's call it the cotton candy planet. It's located around 1,200 light years away from us. Sure thing we'll never see it with our own eyes, but scientists say the cotton candy planet is pretty much Jupiter's bigger, bouncier cousin, 50% more massive. It has an extremely low density combined with other factors, such as high temperatures and the infrared brightness of its host star that make it look special. May I have a close-up here, please? Thank you. See how fluffy it is? Right now, you understand that it would be impossible to stand on its surface. Anyways, it's not often that you meet something like WASP-193b at a planetary party. Such planets might be fluffy because they're getting cooked by their parent stars, puffing up like a marshmallow that's seen too much campfire action. But the thing is, if you're that close to your star and mostly made of a hydrogen-helium cocktail, you're not going to keep your puffiness for long. It's like trying to hold on to a balloon during a hurricane. Exoplanets like this fluffy guy here are pretty rare, but there's also WASP-107b, and it looks squishy too. This one kicks back 200 light years from us, and it chose the constellation of Virgo as its official residence. From some perspective, you might say that this planet is a copycat of Earth. It has helium, and its atmosphere contains sulfur dioxide. There's some resemblance for sure, but WASP-107b has the density of a marshmallow. It means we can snoop through its atmosphere easier than we could with a heavyweight like Jupiter. Scientists were beyond surprised when they peered through their super space goggles, the James Webb Space Telescope's MIRI cam. They spotted clouds made of the stuff that builds beaches, silicate, or as you might know it, sand. Imagine sand castles in the sky. Those sound clouds are way up there in the penthouse suite of WASP-107b's atmosphere, where the thermostat reads a breezy 932 degrees Fahrenheit. Normally, you'd need 1,832 degrees Fahrenheit to cook up this kind of cloud, so scientists are scratching their heads. How did those grainy puffs get all the way up there? Turns out, WASP-107b might be running its own sandy water cycle but with scorching silicates instead of H2O. Silicate particles get whooshed up from the sizzling lower levels by some sort of cosmic elevator, and then they cool off, party together as clouds, and sprinkle down a silicate drizzle. Nobody's packing sunscreen for this kind of sandstorm, though. Now look at this Kepler planet family located in the Kepler 51 star system. This cosmic three-pack hangs around 2,400 light-years away, looking huge but having the same density as your favorite snack. And it's cotton candy yet again. Scientists have been digging into what these space treats are made of. They now believe these puffball planets are big hydrogen-helium gas balloons with a generous smearing of methane haze. It also turns out these planets might be going through a cosmic downsize. Now, let's talk about a planet called Mascara 5b. Nope, it doesn't look like one of those cosmetic tubes from your mom's drawer. Scientists say it's one of the hottest planets ever discovered. They call it an ultra-hot Jupiter, showing off its impressive size, almost twice as big as our very own Jupiter. The dayside temperature is around a scorching 4,892 degrees Fahrenheit, while the night side hits 4,172 degrees Fahrenheit. No chance for any sort of life to survive out there. Actually, it's the second hottest nightside temperature ever recorded. To put it in perspective, the temperature of molten lava sits between 1,292 degrees Fahrenheit and 2,282 degrees Fahrenheit. So, the planet is a whole lot hotter than this scorching liquid rock. Its temperatures even surpass the melting point of most metals, which is around 3,632 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists mention that the insane heat on this planet is comparable to the exhaust of a rocket engine. Back in 2005, one famous star called... Wait, is that a name or a phone number? Whatever. So, turns out this star has a hot sister, and they have very similar names. 
this hot sister has B at the end. Well, this place looks like something from a sci-fi movie as it rocks a mesmerizing blue marble vibe, according to NASA. Such an appearance results from an atmosphere packed with hazy clouds laced with glass. The rain on this planet is glass-filled precipitation that likes to fall sideways, thanks to fierce winds blowing at a speed of 5,400 miles per hour. And yeah, it's the hot sister for a reason. Scientists have measured the daytime temperatures in this nightmarish world. It's around 1,700 degrees Fahrenheit. So when it rains on this planet, it's more like molten glass pouring down instead of your typical waterworks. You may not know it, but space is swarming with wasps. I'm talking about planets called WASP. Meet WASP 76b. This sizzling hot Jupiter-like planet is so out of this world, it rains iron at night there. The daytime side is no less of a fiery nightmare. The temperature there is about 4,300 degrees Fahrenheit. WASP 76b may be slightly smaller than Jupiter, but don't underestimate its grandeur. This fireball is located 640 light years away from Earth. And its terrifying climate is the result of one seriously extreme orbit. You see, these gas giants are fittingly known as hot Jupiters. They like to keep it hot, so they orbit way too close to their scorching host stars. In this case, WASP 76b is nearly 10 times closer to its star than Mercury is to our Sun. That's way too close for comfort, leaving this rebellious planet tidally locked to the star. So, while one side basks in eternal light, the other is trapped in perpetual darkness. 55 Cancri E is a total gem. It's the raddest super-Earth ever spotted. Scientists initially believed it was packed with so much carbon that its insides were blinged out with diamonds thanks to insane pressure and sizzling temperatures of 4,892 degrees Fahrenheit. But researchers put a dent in the diamond hype, showing there was actually less carbon than we had originally thought. Well, diamonds aren't actually that rare and expensive after all. They're just well marketed. The last destination for today is GJ1214b, located 40 light years away from Earth. This planet is like a super-sized Earth, almost three times bigger in diameter and a whopping seven times heavier. It orbits around its red dwarf star faster than you can finish a pizza, finishing a complete loop every 38 hours. But it's not just the planet's size or orbit that's out of this world. It's pretty hot out there, with mind-melting 450 degrees Fahrenheit. But the coolest thing is that this planet is practically drowning in water. The sizzling temperatures and crazy high pressures on GJ1214b create some super cool materials like hot ice and superfluid water. Superfluidity is something that happens in liquid helium when it's almost as cold as it can get. On Earth, water totally missed the memo on being superfluid because it needs ridiculously low temperatures and off-the-chart pressures to pull off that trick. Still, there's not much use in superfluid water. Even if you try it, you'll just get dehydrated. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.